Okay guys and welcome to the sixth video in the mini series on the multiplier um, and again I got this um, image from the intelligent economist and we're just trying to explain what the multiplier effect is which is the increase in national income greater than an initial injection. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is looking at the definition and calculating the marginal propensity to import. Like all of the definitions this one is important as well, learn it off word for word. The marginal propensity to import is the fraction of any extra income which is spent on imports. So now what I want you to see is all of the MPs, except for the MPC, which is the opposite of the MPS, okay? We've got the MPS, the MPT, and now the MPM. We've got savings, taxes, and imports. All of those are leakages and leakages will reduce the size of the multiplier i just want you to keep that in mind and then in the next video what we're going to be doing is the final and complete version of the multiplier okay so marginal propensity to import is the fraction of any extra income which is spent on imports okay looking at this example here if I earn an extra euro and spend 30 cent on imports, what's my MPM? Well, just to be clear again, for those of you that might not be familiar with the euro, there's 100 cent in a euro, and of that 100 cent extra that I earn, that's my change in income, I have spent 30 cent on imports. So it's 30 over 100, which equals 0 0.3. And then from that, we, we should obviously know the uh, general form of the formula, which is the change in spending on imports, okay, over the change in income. Now, just let's go straight into a few more, okay? So again, take a photo of this, and um, um, you can refer to it on your phone as I'm doing the questions, all right? So James earns an extra one euro, and he spends 40 cent on imports. Calculate his MPM. Okay, so that's the first one that I'm gonna do, okay? So what we've got here is, okay, the change in income equals one euro or a hundred cent okay and the change in imports equals 40 cent now i do want to just make sure i'm right as always uh yes okay excellent so the mpm the marginal propensity to import the fraction of any extra income which is spent on imports equals the change in spending on imports over the change in income okay so that's 40 over 100 which equals 0 0.4 and that is the marginal propensity to import, okay? No problem there. Now, on to the next one here. John earned an extra 50 euro and spent 20 euro extra on imports. See, it's extra now, extra. And I will answer both these questions now at the end of this one, okay? 20 and 50, okay, so a line under that. And what we've got here, the change in imports was 20 euro and the change in income was 50. We know that the marginal propensity to import equals the change in spending on imports divided by the change in income. So that's 20 over 50, which equals 0 0.4, and that is the MPM. Okay, so any extra income, if we up level that to the economy and we're said or we're told in the question that the MPM for the economy is 0.4. What we mean that is for every increase in income of 10 euro, national spending on imports rises by 4 euro. Okay, so there's a big leakage in these two economies. They're both 0.4, which you must forgive me was not intentional. No. Um, okay, Tony's wages went from 600 to 700 a week. So the first thing we need to know is the change in income equals 700 minus 600 equals 100 euro that's the change in income okay the next thing that we have to realize the amount of uh, money uh, he spent on imports went from 240 a week to 310 so that's 70 right so the change in spending on imports equals 310 minus 240 and i believe that that is 70 euro okay now um yeah, calculate his MPM. Okay, brilliant. So what we've got here is that this here is the change in spending on imports. This here is the change in income. So his MPM equals the change in spending on imports divided by the change in income, which equals 70 over 100, which equals 0 0.7. Now I'm going to change pen to black here, but this, or blue even, this number here is the MPM, 
okay and what that means is that any national increase or increase in national income if the npm if that npm of 0.7 was the economy wide npm any increase in national income 70 percent of that increase would be spent on imports I think you'll agree that's a lot, okay? Now, finally, Andrew's wages went from 350 to 400 a week. Okay, so what's the change in income? Equals 400 minus 350, which equals 50 euro, okay? Now, I know these are people, I know that, but we're assuming at the end that each of these MPMs, each of these figures, apply to the economy as a whole, okay? Um... The amount of money he spent on imports went from 10 to 15, okay? So the change in spending on imports equals 15 minus 10, which equals 5 euro, okay? Uh, calculate his MPM, right? Well, this here is the um, change in imports. And I know I'm covering it, I see, I do apologize. And this here is the change in income. And the MPM, the marginal propensity to import, equals the change in Im spending on imports over the change in income earned, which equals 5 over 50, which equals 0 0.1. The economic meaning of this figure is thus. Any increase in national income of 100 million will cause an increase in spending on imports by domestic residents to increase by 10 million. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video, short and sweet. I hope it makes sense. I hope you understand it. And I very much hope to see you in the next video. And thanks very much again.